guys, my name is Darkshock124 from Cybernation and this is a it's a different video today, this is more of an instructional actually. It's not so much a tutorial, it's actually how I'm going to make something that's going to end this kind of shaky business. It's just kind of trying to revitalize the channel. So basically what I'm going to do today is going to make a makeshift um, tripod and that's going to allow me to not have so much of a shaky video. So basically I've got this camera here and basically all cameras and video cameras and all this stuff has this little hole at the bottom which is generally for a um, tripod. So what we're going to do is you can look into your tool shed or wherever you keep all your tools and generally you're going to have some screws laying around, some spare screws. Now this is the one I found. Um, you're also going to need a nut for it. So what you're going to do is when you find something that is generally the same size as that is screw the nut all the way down to the bottom just like that. Screw it in to the camera, video camera or whatever. Oh, just dropped it. So you're just going to screw that into your video camera or whatnot, and then you're going to see how much leeway you have in between that. So as you can see there, I have a fair bit of leeway there, um, which basically is just going to pass through this little bottle here, just through the lid. So now we're going to find a drill piece in which is similar size to the threaded section of the screw itself. And um, as you can see here, it's similar size. It's actually a little bit smaller, but whatever. So basically, you're going to get it into the drill. So you get it into the drill if you don't actually know. Um, Um, and you want to turn your torque up a little bit as well. So, the smaller the bottle, the generally the easier it's going to hold everything that you're going to put in it. But we're just going to take the lid off now. And... Uh, just going to make sure this drills the right way. And we're just going to screw straight in the middle bit here. Just like that. Really easy. Just real, real easy. So now that you have your lid with a hole in it, straight through, what you're going to do is we're going to grab, going to grab the screw, unscrew it, get the nut off it, and we're actually going to screw this through this little hole if it's going to fit. If not, then we may have to drill it again. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to drill it a little bit more. So I'm going to get that prepared, just a little bit out of each side. Yeah, it's still not fitting. So what I'm going to do is I'll just pause it here and then I'll restart when I actually have a hole that it's going to fit in. Right, I'll just okay, right now back. we're back. Now we've got a hole that's just big enough for this to essentially screw into. You don't want it just to fall through or it won't work. So as you can see, it's just sitting in there. Not quite straight as of yet, but it has not been screwed in. So basically what we want to do here is we want to flip this upside down. We're going to screw this in through that way. So what you want to do while you're doing this is make sure it's as straight as possible because this is going to be a tripod and you don't want your video to be all sideways. So I'm just going to twist it in. If you're lucky enough to have found a screw, what you can do is you can um, you can put this attachment onto onto your drill, which is generally found on the back somewhere. This was in that hole there. Um, and you can just screw it straight in, which is what I am going to do. So basically, I'm going through that. And then that's through. So at the moment, this is what we've got. We just have a lid with a thread sticking through it. Now all we're basically going to do, screw this over it. Just make sure this is nice and tight actually. 
because um, we're going to need all the clearance we can get on it. Alright, now once that's made, you want to see if it's going to screw into the camera or your recording device all the way. So just to give it the most... Alright, so there you can see it's kind of moving around, that's because it's not tight enough. So what I might do is I might pause it again, go grab a little spanner or a shifter or something, and then we're going to tighten this right up. Alright, let's be back. Okay, we're back. We've got our shifter now. Uh, sure, it's a little bit big for the occasion, but it's still going to fit. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it a little bit bigger than the actual screw itself, slide it over, and then we're just going to tighten it up until it's essentially just pinching it. Alright, as you can see, I can pick it up. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hold that in place. I'll just put this back down, and we're going to screw it from the other side, just because it's going to tighten it right up. Okay, so you'll see it's starting, feel it's starting to tight on you. As soon as your drill starts to get away, that's when it's pretty tight. So as you can see, it just fell straight out there. And that's not going to move at all. I couldn't move that if I probably tried. So again, what we're going to do is we're just going to screw this into our camera. And that's essentially it. So we're going to screw this into the camera. There it is, just hit the bottom. And then we're going to screw the lid back onto the bottle. And there it is, guys. Homemade tripod. Now, while th this may be a bit light, if you're holding it out on the field, so that's why we've got a bottle, not just the lid. So we can fill the bottle with sand and any kind of other um, stabilizing product or something that's weighted and we can just fill that up with weighted stuff um, unfortunately it can't be used as a bottle again and now I'll just play like a sample clip of this video on the tripod alright this is the test video um, keep in mind that I'm walking around with the bottle but as you can see it's a lot more stabilized it's not as shaky if it is shaky at all it's because I'm walking um, yeah. That's it.